Hello, and welcome to Knitting from the Mitten. My name is Tiffany. I'm coming to you from Midland, Michigan, also known as the Mitten State. You can find me on Ravelry and Periscope as Tiff Grooms Dogs, on Instagram as Knitting from the Mitten, and we have a Ravelry group called Knitting from the Mitten Podcast. Thank you so much for watching if this is your first time, and thank you so much if you are a returning viewer. I really, really appreciate it. So I have quite a bit to show you guys this week. I have an FO, have quite a few whips, I have Cal News, um, also got some podcast love, and a little bit of chit chat. So let's get started. Um, I'll show you what I'm drinking first this week. I always forget to show that. So uh, it's too hot right now, but it is in, um, this is a Target mug that I got uh, back when I first started college. I got it for my dorm room. <laughs> and, uh, I just think it's really sweet, got a little flowers all over it, a little birdie. Oh, maybe the bird's just over here. I think the bird's just over here. Let me see. There's the bird. But yeah, and I'm drinking um, just a generic green tea. It's one that we got um, over at Aldi, but too hot right now to drink, so I'm going to put this over here. And so first up is my FO. And it's not a knitting FO, but it is knitting related. It is a project bag that I had started quite a while ago. It was um, probably the beginning of May, maybe middle of May, and I was going too fast with it and I totally messed up on it. And so I did a bunch of um, ripping out and decided to start over completely, but I gave it a break because I just didn't want to look at it for a while because I was having such a hard time. And uh, let's see, I'll show you the inside. It's um, actually got the inside fabric is the dress that I was wearing last week. So that's kind of neat. And, but it's a really decent size. Um, this, you can see the yarn I've got in there. It fits a whole skein in there just fine with quite a bit of room. And this is actually the same uh, pattern that I used for this bag. And you can see quite a difference in size. So I think, <laughs> I think my seam allowances were off just a little bit when I made this first one. So I'm really, really happy with this one as far as size-wise and everything. Um, as far as, you know, quality, I think I'm getting better for sure. It's still not quite where I need to be as far as, you know, everything lining up. But I don't, I don't think it's that bad, really. Um, my little seams are lining up. So I'm getting better. So I'm really happy about that. So maybe someday I can uh, open up an Etsy shop or something. I think that would be a lot of fun. But I'm really, really happy with uh, the fabric pairing. I um, got these both from uh, Joanne Fabrics. And I'm really happy with the interface. I think the interface thing I got at Walmart. But uh, it was really cheap and seems to be doing just fine. So I'll let you know how it stands up. And next will be, oh, next is my sock whip that I have in here. So I cast this on um, just after my last podcast. And cast it on with the intention of taking it to see the movie, the Secret Life of Pets movie that I was going to see on Sunday, and because I didn't have anything in stock in it um, going at the moment, so I wanted something that I wouldn't have to think about um, during the movie, and so I didn't quite get, I only got the cuff done, I didn't get it done in time, and uh, but I'm really happy with it, and I'm happy to have, you know, a plain stock in it, you know, pattern or a project going so that whenever we do go to the movies I can just pick this up and grab it or you know it's going somewhere where I can't you know I need to um, where I can work on something that I don't need to focus on like this so but this is the yarn that I'm using it's a self striping as you can see and this is from Mint Rain Hand Dyed Yarns which is my my favorite local yarn dyer and uh, the colorway is called Spring Dreams, so I just named it my Spring Dreams Socks. And I'm, I am using Chow Gu 9-inch Circular Needles, which these were the ones that I was using on my uh, Blueberry Waffle Socks. But right now I'm working on the heel on those, so I just stole the circulars for this. And I'll probably just switch back and forth from DPNs to this. So yeah, loving. This is my first self-striping that I've ever done. It's fun. Oh my goodness, it's so much fun. I know what people are talking about when they say it's addicting, because it really is. Just keep wanting to keep getting to the next stripe. Oh, and this is a one by one twisted rib. And I'm, that's becoming my new favorite ribbing for socks. 
I'm really, really enjoying it. So, yeah. Um, next up is my On the Spice Market shawl by Melanie Berg. I got a little bit of work done on this this week, not a ton. And this is for um, the Connecting Continents and along that myself and Catherine of Lou Cookie Knits podcast are hosting. And so this is what I've got done. Nothing crazy. Um, I think I was at this wedge last time. So like I said, just a little bit done, but I really love it. It's um, a very easy pattern to follow. Um, you know, I'm trying to, I don't have many of the ends weaved in or woven in, but um, I'm trying to get ahead of those because I don't like weaving in ends. I don't know anybody that does like weaving in ends, but so I want to get those taken care of because I just, ugh, I don't like it dangling all like that. <laughs> But, and these are on um, the nickel plated knit picks metal needles that they have. And they are size two and a half, which is a three millimeter. And really enjoying these quite a bit. Oh, the yarn is Miss Babs in the Perseus gradient set. And the gray is Cascade Heritage Solids. And yeah, the number for that is for the gray is five six six zero. That's the color number. So yeah, I'm very very happy with this. I don't, I'm not in a, a huge rush to get this done. This was a um, a shawl with the yarn that I got for my birthday, and I just kind of want to make it last a little bit. I don't I don't want to bust this one out super fast. So which is good because I have quite a few whips going. So let's see next up. Oh, it's a new cast on. It is living in a Christmas bag that my mom made. <laughs> it's my last project bag that I had around, so it's my Christmas in July project. And um, it's not really Christmassy except for the fact that it's in a Christmas bag, but that's what I'm calling it. So this is not very, I just cast this on last night. Um, but this is going to be my Madewell cardigan by Hohi Locatelli in the yarn that I dyed. And I will show you up close what the yarn looks like. And I'm alternating skeins because one is a little bit lighter than the other. But these are the two. You know what they look like. Really, really happy with how the darker one turned out personally. But it's really neat to see how they look um, when, you, when you alternate skeins. I have a swatch that I'll show you really cool effect it reminds me of denim but I'm very very happy um, with how these turned out what I'm not super happy about is my gauge I did a swatch and I used the needles that it calls for which is the size 4 and I think I don't know if you can see on here but I'll show you the swatch but I think I'm just a little too loose I don't know this to me just looks too airy I don't know but so I'm debating on um, going down a needle size or two I don't know I'm not really good with modifications when it comes to that stuff I don't know a lot about it so I'm probably going to um, get the needle the next size down which is um, which is a three which I don't have so I gotta I gotta grab one of those um, so that's also holding me back from going down as well um, but this is what the swatch turned out like as you can see it's just really really open and I I don't know how I feel about that I don't think that's what the fabric is really supposed to turn out like the only thing is is I got the correct gauge with it so any advice would be welcome big time I'm at a loss I don't really know what to do I think I'm gonna get I think I'm gonna get the other size needle since I don't have it and swatch anyways and then see how that turns out. See if I can get the gauge. And this is your, this is the gauge that you get after blocking, it says. Um, so I think even if I go down a needle size, you know, with blocking, I can kind of stretch it to the gauge that I need. If that's how you're supposed to do it. I hope so. So, yeah. I'm kind of, I'm kind of bummed that I, I'm just a loose knitter. So, but I'm kind of bummed because I really want to get working on it. But I want to make sure that you know, I'm really, really happy with the, the end product. So, we'll see. We will see about that. And, oh, the yarn that I dyed was the Knit Picks Bear Stroll. 
and um, they have really good deals when it comes to um, you know bare yarn that you can dye it's really really um, moderately priced and it's very good yarn very soft and squishy um, well my next project is kind of languishing but I I actually worked on it a little bit this week not much so there's not much to show but it is my blueberry waffle socks and let's see so the progress keeper will show how much that I did <laughs> that was like within the last two weeks so not much at all I just honestly I just did this uh, the other night I just worked on it one night but these are just kind of slow rolling um, I'm doing them for the second sack of summer knit along with the grocery girls and the yarn is Patton's Croy FX in the cameo colors colorway one by one twisted rib. This is a 64 stitch sock. And I'm really happy with this. Love the fabric. I think they're going to be so soft and squishy and cozy for fall and, and winter. So I'm really looking forward to being able to wear them. Not really looking forward to the, the cold, but looking forward to wearing them. And. Oh, my other socks that I'm working on are my Tulsi socks. You're living in my little bobbins sock project bag. So cute. I love this. I always rave about this bag every time I show it, but it's so cute. Can't help it. <laughs> and I didn't get much done on these. It looks like I'm in the middle of a row, too. I don't even know if I got an, another row done since I showed these last week. But um, they look like very very enjoyable to knit on I know last week I inserted a picture of what they look like but you can see it a little bit better it's not gonna focus up nice and close because I turned my focus off but um I really really enjoy this this pattern this by Verena of the wool club and she also um, donated this pattern for our knit along as a giveaway prize so thank you Verena for that I really really appreciate it and I love this sock. Oh, so much fun to knit on. So enjoyable. Um, it's written for toe up, but I believe it's easily modified for cuff down. Um, I just decided to do it toe up since that's the way it's written, and I don't mind doing it. Um, I think I prefer cuff down, but I've said before I like to mix it up when it comes to sock knitting. It's just kind of fun that way. It keeps it interesting. <laughs> and the last one I've got, last whip. I believe the yep, last up this week is my Cozy Memories blanket. One of my favorites. Take out my minis. Okay, so I started a new square this week. Did not finish it yet. This is what it looks like. It's this really pretty bright green, tonal green color. So pretty. Oh, that's the back. Huh. Not that it really makes a difference, but I'm loving it. And it's turning out a little bit darker on camera, but it's vibrant and I love it. Oh, it's so pretty. And this is the last square to square off my my blanket for this little section. Obviously, this is not going to be the size of my blanket. It's going to be quite a bit bigger, but a little squared off for what I've got so far. I love this blanket. Oh, so fun love it okay and oh that yarn is dragonfly dye works in their sparkle sock and the colorway is so it has come to this and then for my blanket I wanted to mention I do a 49 stitch square with a center double decrease that you purl on the back side or on the wrong side you purl it so there that is that and then I'm going to pause and then our next segment will be knit alongs. So the knit along that I'm currently hosting in our group is one that I'm actually co-hosting with Catherine of the Blue Cookie Knits podcast. Go check her out if you have not already. And it is called the Connecting Continents Knit Along. And what it is, is you use a pattern from one country and a yarn from another country. And generally, um, what a lot of people are doing is a pattern or yarn from your country and a pattern or yarn pattern and yarn from another country. 
but that doesn't necessarily mean it has to be that way. And that is running from July 1st to August 30th, and we ask for no works in progress from before July 1st, so anything cast on from July 1st and on is totally fair game. And uh, you can post in both of our groups, so you get double chances of prizes. And let's see, you also have to be a member of the group to win. And some of the prizes that we will have are hand-dyed yarn from Catherine and myself. Um, in my group, we will have the Tulsi socks as uh, the pattern as a giveaway. Also, there are some more goodies that are in the works that I will show you later on um, once, I, once I receive them. And um, let's see. I actually think that's all I have for that. So, let's see. Yeah, that's all I have for our knit along. So, um, oh, I also wanted to mention we have quite a few people that have already had some finished objects posted. So that's so exciting. I think we had like four or five. And um, that was really, really exciting to see. So you guys are doing awesome. I'm busting them out. And go check out the finished objects out if you have not, because there's some really, 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 really pretty stuff that people have been making. All right, and the next segment we'll talk about will be podcast love. Okay, so for this week for some pod love, I would like to mention uh, Sarah from The Dabbling Shepherdess. She is such a hoot. She's so funny. She's got about two episodes out, and she is just hilarious. I, I get a kick out of her, and she is also my birthday twin. I heard on one of her episodes she said her birthday and I like immediately got on Instagram and like commented and said, I got the same birthday. So maybe next year we could do a, a birthday swap or something. I think that would be fun. <laughs> See what she thinks about that. But yeah, go check out Sarah uh, from the Dabbling Shepherdess. She is too funny and I think you'll really, really enjoy her. And she's such a sweetie and she also has puppies too. So um, the next person I'd like to mention is David from This Boy Podcast and he's from Scotland. And he uh, has had such a nice mention on his last podcast, so I just wanted to give him another shout out and tell him how much I appreciated that. It was really nice. And he also has the This Boy Etsy shop, so go check out his yarn. And I think he's got some project bags there too. Not currently, but I know he's had them before. And then um, the other podcast I would like to mention is um, Julie from Sweet Sparrow Yarns podcast and Etsy shop. And um, I just checked out her podcast this week and I love it. She seems like such a sweetie and I really enjoy the projects that she works on. And I also checked out her Etsy shop and she has a Game of, Thro Game of Thrones inspired colorway called Sansa. And it is gorgeous. I want to get my hands on that. So I'm going to, I don't know, I'm trying to rein myself in from, uh, from uh, yarn buying, but maybe in a little while I can, I can manage to to get some but let's see and yep that is all I have for this week on pop up hey and last thing for this week is my chit chat segment I saw the secret life of pets movie on Sunday with my nieces and um, one of their cousins was also there as well and it was so fun yeah they are I can't believe first of all I can't believe how big my nieces are getting that's crazy they're um 11 10 and one will be nine in December and that is just crazy to me it's getting so old but um it was oh it was such a fun time and I loved the movie I cannot wait for it to come out so I can buy it and own it because it is just it is pet ownership in a nutshell and it is just it was too cute of a movie I loved it although I wish there was more Leonard in the movie there was only like three spots or Leonard, the standard poodle, was in there. So that's my only complaint. But <laughs> I loved it. I really don't have any complaints about it. I thought it was great. Um, other things, let's see. Um, oh, I there's Knit Night tonight. So I'll be going to that. I found out that I'm, uh, have, I'm a member of their Google calendar. So you're supposed to be able to see when Knit Night is going to be and where. Well, it's, over, it's the same night every night but or every week. But um, it changes as far as whose house it's going to be at. And I was on the wrong calendar, so I hadn't been going for the past couple weeks because I thought they weren't having it. <laughs> so I finally got on the right calendar, so I plan on going there tonight. And um, other big news is my mother-in-law got a new puppy. Her name is Daisy, and she is a Australian Shepherd and Golden Retriever mix, and she is so cute. 
Oh my gosh, so cute. I um I got some video of her and Ella playing together. Oh, she's so cute. She's I mean, she's got to be about ten pounds, maybe. I mean, she's tiny, and. Ella is 92 pounds and they were playing tug together with a little rope bone and Ella was being so gentle and so sweet and just letting her play and she's been doing so good with the puppy and uh, it's just it's so fun to see them play together and I can't wait to see her when she gets a little older you know when they can really rough house and really get to play and tug so I'm gonna um, I'm gonna insert that video right here at the end so you can check that out if you want some some puppies and uh, that's all I have for this week. So I hope you guys are doing well and happy and healthy. And I hope you guys um, join the group if you have not, the Ravelry group. I would love to see what you guys are working on. Join the knit along if you haven't. And you got quite a bit of time to join in. So um, you can be eligible for some prizes. So take care and have a good week, guys. Bye.